now we have the lines given like this let us call it as this line is ab now there is one more line which we have like this is so cd now there is one more line he had given it as is equal to ef he had given now the angles are given like this this is x degrees this is y degrees this is z degrees this is also z degrees this is y degrees this is going to be x degrees now the ratio between the angles that is x is to y is to z is equal to 2 is to 3 is to 5 we want to find out what is going to be the x what is going to be the y what is going to be the z now since o is going to be the center sum of all these angles should be equal to 360 degrees this ratio can be written like this x by 2 equal to y by 3 equal to z by k z by 5 equal to let us equate it to k then x is equal to 2k y equal to 3k z is equal to you can take it as a 5k you can take it just now i said sum of these angles is equal to 360 degrees that is 2x degrees plus 2y degrees plus 2z degrees is equal to 360 degrees because of at the origin we have sum of the angles is equal to 360 this you can write x degrees plus y degrees plus z degrees is equal to 180 degrees because of i have taken the common factor 2 cancelled so that i am able to get 180 degrees now we have taken x is equal to 2k degrees y equal to 3k z is equal to 5k therefore if i substitute here then we are going to get 2k degrees plus 3k degrees plus 5k degrees is equal to 180 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 therefore 10 k degrees is equal to 180 degrees therefore k degrees is equal to 18 18 degrees now if k is 18 we can find out what is x what is y and what is z therefore x is equal to 2 times of 18 degrees that is equal to 36 degrees y is equal to 3 times of 18 degrees that is equal to 54 degrees z is equal to 5 times of 18 degrees that is equal to 90 degrees therefore this is 90 plus 90 180 we got it but twice is there therefore naturally we can say that it is going to be 360 if i represent it in a figure we are going to get x is equal to 36 degrees therefore this is 36 degrees now in the same manner y is equal to we have taken 54 degrees we have taken this is also 54 degrees naturally this is going to be 90 degrees this is also going to be 90 degrees now the next question now we have a figure like this one angle is 93 degrees he had given now this angle is equal to 3x plus 18 degrees he had given our main target is let us call it as this is op this is ab we want to find out the x degrees since angle p o b plus angle p o a equal to 180 degrees we can say that angle p o e b plus angle p o a equal to 180 degrees this you can write as 93 degrees plus 3x plus 18 degrees that is equal to 180 degrees this you can write 3x plus 18 this is nothing but 8 plus 3 11 2 therefore therefore this is equal to 98 plus 3 is equal to 11 and then 2 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 therefore 11 degrees is equal to 180 degrees 3x is equal to 180 degrees minus 111 which is equal to 
9. Here we are going to get 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, 69. x 3x is equal to 69. x is equal to 21, 23 degrees. Therefore, this should be here. The x value should be equal to 23 degrees. At that time, angle POA will be 3 into 23 degrees plus 18 degrees, which is equal to 69 degrees plus 18 degrees. 69 plus 18 is equal to this is 87 degrees if it is 87 degrees this should be equal to here 3 2 is a cancel 3 3 is there for 3 2 is a 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 69 plus 18 therefore this is equal to 87 degrees 87 degrees plus 93 degrees this is equal to total this is 93 degrees already given Therefore, the total is equal to 180 degrees we are getting. Therefore, the total angle is equal to 180 degrees. Now, the next one. Now, we have a figure like this. In this, the total, the outside angle, had given it as the 296 degrees. Now, this angle is equal to 29 degrees. And this angle is x minus 24 degrees. Our main task is we want to find out what is going to be the x value. Let us consider this is O, this is A, B, this one is C. Now at the center we have the total 360 degrees angle. Therefore x minus 24 degrees plus 29 degrees plus 296 degrees is equal to totally 360 degrees because sum of all these angles should be equal to 360 degrees this you can write x plus 5 degrees because 29 minus 24 is 5 plus 296 degrees is equal to 360 degrees therefore x plus this you can write as 15 therefore this is 305 degrees because okay therefore 5 plus 6 that is 11 therefore this is 301 degrees is equal to 360 degrees x is equal to 360 degrees minus 301 degrees which is equal to you can take it as 59 degrees the value of x is equal to total the value of x is equal to 59 degrees then angle c o b equal to 59 degrees minus 24 degrees which is equal to this you can take it as 35 degrees when x is 35 degrees when this one angle c o b is 35 degrees 29 degrees plus 296 degrees total sum is equal to 360 degrees next problem a b is one line the next c d is going to be the other line which is making an angle 40 degrees here. Now, there is one more line. Let us call it as this is OE. We don't know what this angle is going to be. Now, this angle also we don't know. And moreover, this angle also we have to find out. Total. Here, we want to find out let us call it as this is D. We want to find out angle B, O, E. We want to find out. In the same manner, we want to find out. This is C. In the same manner, we want to find out. Angle C, O, E. Also, we want to find out. Angle C, O, E. That is going to be angle C, O, E. Also, we want to find out. Now, we can extend this line. No problem at all. Since... They are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, this angle should be BOD should be equal to 40 degrees. No problem at all. Now here, our main task is going to be like this. Angle BDE. Actually, we want to find out angle BDE. Now, this is going to be the 40 degrees here we have. This is 40 degrees we have. So that this is going to be the straight angle 40 degrees let us call it as this is x degrees let us call it as this is y degrees now 
this is going to be definitely it is going to be x degrees here now our main task is going to be like this here 40 degrees plus x degrees plus y degrees is equal to 180 degrees but already it is given it as 40 degrees here and moreover this is x degrees naturally this is also going to be y degrees our main interest is we want to find out b o e we want to find out therefore here x degrees plus y degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees therefore this is equal to totally 140 degrees 140 degrees means now x degrees plus y degrees is equal to you got it as a 140 degrees here this is x plus y equal to 140 but already this is 40 he had given now if you take this angle if this is a bisector if you take it which is going to divide this this ob is a bisector which naturally if you take it naturally it should divide this one equally equally means naturally this should be equal to 2x degrees plus y degrees should be equal to that is 2x degrees is equal to 140 x is equal to 70 we have to get it therefore if x is equal to 70 degrees naturally but already x is equal to 70 means y is also equal to 70 degrees therefore if it is equal to 70 degrees 70 plus 40 is equal to 110 110 plus here 110 plus 70 is equal to 180 now here 70 plus 40 is 110 110 plus x degrees is equal to 110 plus 70 is equal to 180 but it is possible only when ob is going to be the bisector of bisector of e o d that implies if it is going to divide equally naturally this is going to be the division of equally naturally x should be that is 2x degrees is equal to 140 x is equal to 70 we are getting it now the next question and then x y is a line segment he had given let us call it as this is x as well as y there is one perpendicular line this angle is going to be 90 degrees let us take this line is equal to p this line let us call it as this is a point o here if you take it now there is going to be mn is one line then let us call it as this is m this one is going to be the n now this angle is equal to a, a and this angle is equal to b now this whole thing is going to be the c he had given that a is the angle p o y he had given it as 90 degrees and moreover a is to b is equal to he had given the angles like this a is to b ratio he had given it as a 2 is to 3 our main task is we want to find out what is going to be the a b c values and we want to find out c also we want to find out therefore c is equal to how much okay now this is 90 means a plus b should be equal to 90 degrees because the whole angle angle x o m we know that angle x o m plus angle m o p plus angle p o y is equal to totally 180 degrees then p o y he had given it as 90 degrees therefore this is 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees but x o m is b plus m o p is equal to a therefore a plus b is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees that is equal to 90 degrees now the ratio he had given it as a is to b equal to 2 is to 3 that is a by 2 equal to b by 3 let us equate to k then a equal to 2k and b equal to 3k in the place of a and b if i substitute this 
टू के प्लस थ्री के इक्वल टू नाइंटी देर फॉर फाइव के इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री के इक्वल टू नाइंटी बाई फाइव देर फोर दिस वी आर गोइंग टू गेट एज फाइव वन जो फाइव देर फॉर फोर्टी एटीन जो देर फॉर के इक्वल टू एटीन वेन के इक्वल टू एटीन नैचुरली ए शुड बी इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री एंड देन बी शुड बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर डिग्री बी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर डिग्री बट इफ यू सी द लाइन एम एन इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंगल बी प्लस एंगल शू शुड बी इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री देर फोर एंगल एम एंगल एम ओ एक्स प्लस एंगल एक्स ओ एन इज ईक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री एंगल एम ओ एक्स इज ईक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर देर फोर फिफ्टी फोर डिग्री प्लस एंगल एक्स ओ एन इज ईक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री देर फोर एंगल एक्स ओ एन इज ईक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस फिफ्टी फोर दट इज वन एटी डिग्री माइनस फिफ्टी फोर दिस इज सिक्स देर फोर दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द टोटली वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स बिकॉज टेन माइनस फोर इज सिक्स सेवन सेवन माइनस फोर इज टू देर फोर दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री देर फोर एंगल सी इज ईक्वल टू एंगल सी इज ईक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री इज द एंगल हियर नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू प्रूव दैट पी क्यू इज अ लाइन वो आर इज अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन नाउ This is an angle bisector. Angle, yes. Let us take it as O S is another line, and O R is perpendicular to the P Q, and O S is another line between O P as well as O R. We want to prove that angle R O S is equal to that implies angle R O S. This is equal to. Half of angle QOS, angle QOS minus angle POS. We want to prove this. First given line is PQ. OR is perpendicular, and OS is another line. Angle between R O S. Let us call it as alpha. Now we want to prove that angle R O S is equal to half of the angle Q O S Q O S minus half of the angle P O S. Our main interest is this one. Anyhow, this is ninety degrees. Let us call it as this angle is equal to beta i try to take it we know that angle q o r plus angle r o s plus angle s o p is equal to 180 degrees now angle q o r is 90 degrees plus Angle R O S plus angle S O P is equal to 180 degrees. Now here, angle R O S plus angle S O P is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees, which is equal to 90 degrees. But angle R O S we have taken it as an alpha. Therefore. This is alpha. Angle S O P we have taken it as a beta. Alpha plus beta is equal to ninety degrees. Naturally, alpha is equal to ninety degrees minus beta. But here, our main interest is we want to prove that R O S is equal to angle R O S is equal to half of the angle between half of the angle. Q O S Q O S. That implies it is going to divide this one with 
this is going to be the treated as a bisector minus pos naturally this you can write as alpha you can write as ros which is equal to 90 degrees 90 degrees means naturally this whole thing is equal to it is the 90 degrees is the angle of o q o r but the problem is here this whole thing is equal to 180 degrees which is separated as this is equal to 90 degrees which we have taken minus beta is equal to s o p we have taken angle s o p or you can call it as p o s also we can call it as this we can call it as p o s therefore angle r o s is equal to but p o s is nothing but half of the p o r therefore we can call it as 90 degrees is also half of this therefore the whole thing you can call it as 1 by 2 of the angle the whole thing is equal to that implies q o s means the whole thing is equal to this one that implies one way we are going to divide this this lines with one more line segment whatever angle it is going to make out this angle is also going to be 90 degrees that implies let us call it as this is the angle between SOT is in 90 degrees therefore this is going to be the half of this therefore we can call it as angle QOS plus minus of this should be subtracted from this portion this angle is going to be the same as this angle therefore we can subtract from this angle SOP so that we can call it as angle SOP or POS therefore the whole thing you can write as angle ROS is equal to half of angle QOS minus angle POS so that here this OT is going to be the bisector and simultaneously OS is a bisector in the previous problem if OS as well as OT are going to be the bisectors the angle between TOS is 90 degrees we have seen since it is angle is anyhow 90 degrees therefore if this is going to be the this angle as well as this angle are going to be the one and same naturally this is going to be the bisector of this is the OT is a bisector of O this is the OT is a bisector of Q O R and simultaneously P O S is a bisector of P O R then this angle is going to be 90 degrees therefore in this way we can prove that angle R Y S is equal to half of angle Q O S minus angle P O S lines and transverse transversal now the next part of this topic is lines and transversal transversal now suppose we have two lines are there let us call it as this is L is one line let us call it as this is one line M if any line is dividing this one into the two parts this line which we are calling it as the transversal line in this the total angles are like this 1 2 we can take it as a, this one is 3 this one is 4 we can take this one is equal to 5 this one is 6 this one is 7 as well as this angle is 8 these are the four angles we are going to get it but from this we are going to say certain things which we have to 1 2 7 8 are exterior angles therefore 1 2 7 8 are exterior angles now the second part 1 5 1 5 and 2 6 in the same manner 4 8 4 8 in the same manner 3 7 1 5 2 6 4 8 3 7 which we are calling it as corresponding angles 
this way you can call it as corresponding angles now we want to see that 1 7 in the same manner 2 8 if you see these are called alternative exterior angles alternative exterior angles in the same manner if we see 4 5 and simultaneously 3 6 these these are called interior angles of the same side interior angles of same side. These are the one of the important points which we have to remember. 1, 2, 7, 8 are exterior outside the lines. 1, 5, 2, 6, 4, 8, 3, 7 are the corresponding angles. That implies for the transversal line we have 1, 5 are the same side. These are called corresponding angles. 2, 6, 4, 8, 3, 7 are having the same. Therefore, same side of it, we are calling it as corresponding angles. 1, 7, these are called opposite angles to this particular transversal line. Therefore, we can say that alternative exterior angles, 2, 8. But if you look into this particular aspect here, 4, 5, they are inside this one. Therefore, we are calling it as the interior angles of this one. Now, <clears throat> this same side interior angles are also called co, we are calling it as <clears throat> co interior angles or we are calling it as an allied angles. Therefore, the same side, this interior angles are also called interior angles are also called Co interior angles are we can call it as allied angles. We can call it as an allied angles. If the transversal line, the axiom is like this. If the transversal line, transversal line intersects. the two lines intersects the two lines then the corresponding angles are equal the corresponding angles are equal angles are equal in this the corresponding angles means 1 5 that implies whatever angle is here the same angle is here corresponding angles are equal 2, 6, in the same manner, 3, 7, 4, 8. These are called corresponding angles are equal. This is one axiom. If the transversal line, that is transversal line, this line is intersecting the two lines, that is L and M, at a different points, then the corresponding angles are equal. Based on this, we will discuss about one problem. Now, if you have the two lines are like this, one angle he had given it as 76 degrees he had given, one angle he had given it as 76 degrees, the other angle he had given it as 11x plus 2 degrees, 11x plus 2 degrees, then we want to find out the x value. Just now according to this axiom, these are the corresponding angles, both are equal. Therefore, here we can call it as, suppose if I take like this, this is going to be the 70, actually this angle is going to be the 79 degrees he had given. Therefore, these are the corresponding angles, naturally these both are equal. Therefore, we can say that 11x degrees plus 2 degrees is equal to 79 degrees. Therefore, 11x degrees is equal to 79 degrees minus 2 degrees 
11 x degrees is equal to 77 x is equal to 77 by 11 which is equal to 7 degree that implies the value of x is equal to 7 degrees the same thing we will discuss about one more problem of the same model but here we should remember these points 1 2 these are the exterior angles corresponding angles are equal and alternative exterior and then interior angles are also equal now these are the two lines one angle is equal to he had given it as 60 degrees this he had given it as 8x minus 4 degrees 8x minus 4 degrees we want to find out what is going to be the x value now generally if you look into this this angle plus this angle let us call it as this is x and then let us call it as this is small a a plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees therefore you can take it as a plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees therefore a equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees that is equal to totally 120 degrees the same manner if you see this let us call it as this is b this you can write as 8x minus 4 degrees is equal to 8x minus 4 plus b is equal to 180 degrees therefore this you can write 8x plus b is equal to 184 degrees but we don't know that these are the actually whenever a is 120 degrees naturally this is this angle is also going to be treated as 60 degrees we know that 60 degrees as well as this b is going to be the one and same therefore 8x plus 60 degrees is equal to 184 degrees 8x is equal to you can take like this 184 minus 60 degrees 8x is equal to therefore this you can write as 4 here you can take it as 18 minus 6 is 124 x is equal to 124 divided by 8 therefore this you can write as 4 2s are therefore 4 3s are 4 1s are therefore this you can write as 15.5 degrees this you can call it as 8x is equal to 15.5 degrees that is 8x is 124 degrees that is 124 minus 4 is equal to 120 naturally this is 60 but here if you think about the alternative interior angles are equal means naturally this angle is same as this means naturally x should be equal to this but unfortunate thing is here we have taken it as a total a plus 60 degrees this is 180 this is 60 naturally this is also going to be the this is going to be considered as 120 degrees therefore this 120 plus 4 is equal to 124 therefore 8x plus 8x is equal to 124 by 8 that is equal to 15.5 degrees is the answer for this now suppose if i take the next question like this if there are two lines are given one angle is equal to 14x minus 1 the other thing he had given it as 12x plus 17 12x plus 17 my main interest is i want to find out what is going to be the x value now here if you look into this particular aspect this is going to be the we don't know what is this angle is going to be let us call it as a if you see this 14x minus 1 is equal to 12x plus 17 because of these are the opposite angles here which are equal here you can call it as 14x minus 1 is equal to 12x plus 17 here you can call it as this one 14x minus 12x is equal to 17 plus 1 therefore 2x is equal to 18 x is equal to 9 degrees if x is 9 degrees naturally this is going to be 14 into 9 degrees minus 1 this will be 12 into 9 plus 17 degrees is the answer for this now the next question this is one line segment we have these are the three transversal lines 
the angles made by these transversal lines and the corresponding lines are given. Our main interest is we want to find out x, y, z that is we want to find out x, y, z and simultaneously we want to find out a, b, c also we want to find out. But 110 degrees as well as y degrees are going to be the corresponding angles because of this is going to be the transversal line. Therefore, we can say that y degrees is also equal to 110 degrees. But we know that x degrees plus y degrees is equal to 110, 180 degrees. Already y degrees is given it as 110 degrees. Therefore, x degrees is equal to, you can call it as 180 degrees minus 110 degrees, which is equal to 70 degrees. Whenever x is 70 degrees, naturally we got, got, we got it as x degrees is equal to 70 degrees we got it and y degrees already given it, y is equal to 110 we got it. But same thing, whenever x degrees as well as z degrees are going to be the corresponding angles, therefore you can call it as z degrees is also equal to 70 degrees. Now my main task is like this. C had given it as, we don't know what is going to be the C, but to see this angle he had given it as 65 degrees. Therefore, if you see this vertically opposite angles, if you see, naturally we can say that B is also equal to, that is C is equal to 65 degrees. When C is 65 degrees, therefore B is also equal to 65 degrees. When B is 65 degrees, A plus B equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, A plus B, A plus B is equal to, therefore, A plus B equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, B is equal to 180 minus 65. Naturally, this is equal to 5. Here, we are going to get 17 minus 6. 17 minus 6 is equal to 11. A equal to 115 degrees. We got the values of A, B, C, we got all the values. Only by taking the corresponding and interior angles property, we are able to get this. If you see the next problem,